So Hank, today uh, Nat, Wolf, and I are just going to go to the woods and do a Question Tuesday. That sounded weird. Oh, creepy. Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. It's Question Tuesday, the day that we answer real questions from real nerd fighters. I'm here with Nat Wolf, who's playing Isaac in the movie, and I'm going to ask him some questions. I look here. That you guys submitted from Twitter. Yeah, right inside nice. it. It's right in there. All right, Nat. Your first question: Is Shailene Woodley a good kisser? <laughs> uh, was that question meant for me? Awkward panda. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. Uh, I wouldn't know. I, I uh, sadly, Isaac doesn't get to kiss. Uh, Hazel. Yeah, have you guys read the book? Yeah, but... <laughs> Doesn't happen. What part of the book are you most excited to see in the movie? I'm excited to see, uh, I think, I did the trophy scene, I think that went well. I'm excited to see all the scenes that don't have Isaac in them. Mm, not as much for me. Who's the funniest person on the Fault in Our Stars set? One, two, three. It's me. me. It's definitely me. It's me. It's me. It's me. I know I'm... Okay, it's John. You're second. You're second, yeah. but it's a distant second. Yeah. How true to the book is the movie? Very true. I think it's because people... Are you trying to get me out of this camera angle, John? <laughs> how, how true to the yeah. book is the movie, Nat? <laughs> I think people are so in love with this book, and it's so realistic already. We There's barely anything that anybody had to change. But I can't help but notice that you don't have blonde hair. Oh, except for my blonde hair. As the author of the book, I just want to say that that stuff doesn't matter to me at all. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll make a Tumblr post about why it doesn't matter to me and link to it in the video info below. Yeah, so guys, for all the tweets about me not being blonde, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, not, it's not his fault. He was born that way. <laughs> Neither of my parents have blonde hair. I just couldn't control it. They were, you know, blame them. If you could only watch one more movie in your life, Nat, what would it be? Uh, it would probably be Taxi Driver. I think Taxi Driver is probably my favorite movie of all time. For um, me, it would definitely be The Fault in Our Stars. I meant The Fault in Our Stars. Yeah. What's it been like hanging out with uh, actual teen cancer survivors? It was, it was overwhelming. I went to a, a hospital and uh, I talked to them and, you know, you start off asking them questions about their disease and how they cope with it, and, and about five minutes in, you're talking about movies and TV shows right. and music, just like with anybody else. Right. And you realize they're just normal kids who are just going through a really lame situation. Have you seen me cry on set at all? Yeah, I have. John cries at, at a good meal. Now, this is your second movie with Josh Boone yeah. as a director. What do you think of that guy? <sighs> Screw him, man. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. lame. Josh Boone is like one of my best friends in the world, honestly. Hopefully, I'll be working with him for you know the rest of my career. Yeah, that's how I feel about Nat. I want to work with him a lot. I want but to not, work with John for the rest of the Not on movies, you know, just like... Just like work on little projects. We could build a house together. What's it like playing a blind person? When I'm doing the scenes blind, I really can't see anything. Um, uh, I put stuff over my glasses or I'm wearing these contacts and make it so I can't see anything. And uh, it's almost freeing because you become really... You lose all self-consciousness. Physically, I watched a lot of videos online of blind people. I met with this guy named Ethan. Um, and I, you know, watched Scent of a Woman. <laughs> so I got some of those speeches memorized, you know. Like, so you got the Al Pacino blind strip. Yeah, it's like, I'm in the dark, Charlie! I'm in the dark! <laughs> so I'm trying to work that into the movie somehow. Can I you take a flame throw it to this place! Give me some Ansel. Uh, hey, uh, what are you talking about? No, I'm, I'm having a good time today. Here's my John. <laughs> We're being quiet because we got in trouble. Do you have a favorite book? I mean, my favorite book of all time is Catching a Rye, and also because, like Hazel, I think I read it at a really important time in my life when a book can mean that much to you. Catching the Rise is also my, probably my favorite book. That must be why Is that really? Yeah. Really your favorite book? Yeah. yeah. I made, I'll send you my videos I made about it. Favorite beetle? Paul. Favorite color? Blue. Now see, mine are, mine are John and green. Honestly, John is it. Now as I get older, it becomes more of my favorite. I mean, it's hey, hard. Are, do, you find yourself, do you find yourself coming around to green at all as a color? Not at all. Damn it! One, two, three. Hank, Hank I'll, I'll see you on him. Friday. Yeah. I do it one more time where it's a little less lame, a little, ah. little better than that. One, two, three. Hank. One, two, three. Hank, Hank I'll, I'll see you on Friday. Friday. That was good. Yeah. Finally. Up top. Oh.